Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video with Sampath. You're watching Sampath Sanfix YouTube channel, and this is Poco XC Custom ROM Reviews. This is an Android 14 version beta. Do let's dive into some of the features and later I'll show you the benchmark results and other things. Followed by the first thing is the home screen. You can look out here. Before that, I want to show the lock screen. You can see the implementation has not been updated here. Uh, this is a port ROM. Actually, these things should have been changed the fonts. And if I even unlock it, as you can see, if I want to change it, let me change it. And I'll show you going to security and privacy. And you can see this is also a new change you can uh, notice in the Android 14. And here it's a beta 2. If I go into device unlock and change the screen lock to, if I go into change it to password, let me keep one two three four okay next and again make it confirm okay you also get the options here you can see lock after screen timeout and power button instantly locks and the interface wise it has been revamped a little bit and if i go into lock screen and if i turn here and if i change here it should show different actually but currently it is showing similar thing and even if you enter password it should show the symbols that has been not implemented here anyhow i think that will be changed in upcoming build you can see yeah there is a password let's set this out again yeah now let's set this again it is showing similar thing only maybe they should implement this then it would be better in my opinion hope so yeah you can now see while entering the numbers it should show the different symbols that's a one thing one change i have seen here but anyhow that hasn't been implemented in this particular uh, port rom now moving into the quick settings here i found this security and check status has been added it will directly revert back to that settings what i shown right now and if i go into again font size as you can see you can increase the font size from here it's quite interesting feature has been added in the quick settings itself you can make it done you can see this is the one new feature has been added in the android 14 beta 2 that's how it is and in the edit sections you all get the basic options that's find available those things have been enabled and again settings and power button is remember downside from android 13 there's nothing change here let me increase the font size here it's too tiny okay now make it done yeah that's fine and this is how the home screen looks like now moving to other settings like you can see wallpapers and style you get similar wallpapers here nothing change as you can see you get a little bit of few wallpapers it hasn't updated it but it will be added in the upcoming builds of this uh, android 40 and wallpaper colors you get plenty of colors here has been implemented with android 13 that has been carried out through this android 14 and one more thing has been added is the monochrome color it also depends upon the wallpaper but the monochrome color makes everything in black and white as you can see it will dull the colors out it it is found out to be a new one what i have noticed and other basic colors the print of options has been given in terms of basic colors and wallpaper colors i will revert back to this version and dark theme implementation is quite similar i did not find any difference here and theme icons is also still available it's still showing in beta but it's a beta build only and app grid you get up to uh, 5 into 5 and you can see theme icons will be looking like this on the home screen and this is the few changes i have noticed and widgets you get similar widgets here and home settings the pixel launcher has not uh, that much updated but visually you can see a lot more uh, you can see like this flash notifications you can enable camera flash and screen flash yellow you can see the preview also as you can see like this i want a camera flash the led will be blinking again i want to show that as you can see these are the things cool things have been visualized a little bit different and better in this update in the beta 2 
hope so we'll be seeing beta 3 and uh, final build of the android 14 will be out soon and for such kind of from subscribe to my channel hit the subscribe button down below and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like guys and do not disturb this all been uh, present from previous versions bubbles options is also given that's revamped you can see the visually there might be a huge difference in terms of visual experience of the android versions and android 14 is uh, the one which can be make huge difference in terms of visualizations i can say in this video and the quick settings i already explained and the home screen it remains same and here you can see the google search you can directly search here out of fill and preferences if i go manage search preferences has been given device results and web suggestions if you want you can disable from here always show keyboard if you want to show keyboard when swiping up on your home screen like this and if you type anything now and let me show you copy and you can see now in the keyboard you will get this paste option it's a little bit revamped and very useful if you copy any of the object and for that you need to enable this options what i shown right now this one always show keyboard then you can see that paste kind of tiny option will be available on your uh, keyboard screen and other things in this particular room we don't get any camera application here i mean no pre-built camera application has been given and coming to shift and status you can see here uh, it will get filled the status profile match obviously it's an ported rom for poco x slash nfc it's not a great experience as of now but uh, if you look like a new things what have been covered those are really a new experience apart from this uh, lock screen customization they haven't changed that much but overall it's a good rom to check the new version of android it might be useful but i don't recommend it to use it as a daily driver and this is aqua battery and we'll see finished okay we saw the 98 percent and it will take some more time okay now it has been taken this is the uh, consumption of power and i have some benchmark results too let's go into files and show you those things uh this is the lock screen with charging grapple i mean the 33 watt charging support has been enabled in this particular rom and the benchmark is the cpu throttling test you can see the maximum is around 196 and average is 190 and minimum is 175 and it's throttled to 94 percent of its max performance and it is a 100 test case and the graph is very very uh, good here it hasn't throttled that much it's a 94 percent of its max performance for 15 continuous minutes and we oh yeah, have one more thing i haven't shown yeah the benchmark is like gigben single score is 696 and multi score is 1816 it will show you android 13 itself but it's an android 14 beta 2 ported from google pixel 5a for this poco xc slash nfc this is the benchmark results and anything else i want to show in this settings nothing else what's up going to work fine the other benchmark like android i haven't run that much and this is the settings panel it's quite smooth here now the search settings has been revamped a little bit and if i go into again notifications you get again the flash notifications what i explained a little bit later i explained it previously yeah battery again you get battery percentage and adaptive performances and battery usage uh, the chart has been revamped a little bit and you can also see the applications which are used breakdown by apps and system if you want you can make it like that the revamped version of visual change has been implemented here too if you're going to battery server again you will get standard battery server and extreme battery server again you can see the font change has been done and you will get some uh, information about extreme battery server and you also see frequently used apps and battery usage name you can even add them to essential apps here if want you can do that that's how the extreme battery so the battery life is going to be good enough but it is a ported rom i can't complain that much sound vibration again no new things here you get all the previous versions fan media player is also given here and direct sound settings has not been implemented yet and in the display settings again 
dark theme I already shown screen saver again this remains similar here uh, colors options you will get these options and smooth display screen protector mode it will increase the touch sensitivity and improve touch while using a screen protector these are things you can notice and accessibility menu nothing change hasn't been noticed and just this flash notification again added here too and the new thing the accessibility menu you can just use like this it's a handy feature it hasn't added any new options but it's more than enough in my opinion and color and motion again you get large mouse cursor control other things display size and text bold text high contrast text even in the developer options the high contrast test gets a little bit revamped version and tack back feature this is how visual change has been happened everywhere in android 14 and security and privacy already explained this is the new you get this may be at risk and location is off location settings these things has been added in the security and privacy and even in the system now languages and keyboard have been separated in previous versions they are in same languages and input now it has been separated but options are remain same here nothing fancy navigation mode again register navigation you get only left right edge sensitivity and start to invoke assistance if i go here again uh, nothing new hasn't been noticed that much but there are some tweakings has been done in visually uh, that too not a uh, great visual experience yes it has that the material you design is still remained and what i noticed is the icons also here maintained a little bit newer and if i use a split screen again again you can select the text from here and if i go into okay split screen now the option you can see here now you will get that background color uh, of any wallpaper like that and you can see how they differentiated between both the screens uh, little bit tweaking has been done and smoothness in the ui remains uh, excellent here that's the one thing what i noticed if you want to use it as a daily driver you can use it as you can see the fingerprint unlock is also working fine if you are a person who want to test new kind of versions and version then you can do that and dialer again it remains same here nothing new you get direct video call feature too you can directly make that and call recording feature has been disabled for some reason here uh, that's how it is and google assistant is also working fine these are the android 14 beta 2 for poco xc slash nfc it's a ported drum for pixel fire i hope you guys like this video if you like the video give it a like we'll meet you with another interesting video under that keep smiling bye bye for now